The CD has not appreciated against the dollar. Now what has the CD done? has not appreciated against the dollar. And I'm saying this on authority. What has happened Sorry. is that the rate of depreciation of the CD against the dollar is what has slowed down. <laughs> so it's what, semantics. No, it's not sem semantics. So when, if you put it that way, oh. it means it means that people should expect prices on the market to fall drastically because they are pegged against the dollar. But it's not the case. Okay. Prices are still going up, but the rate at which they were going up a month ago. Where you can buy something in the morning at two cities and in the evening it goes to three cities. Mm. It's no longer happening. Maybe it's happening at a slower rate and at a more um, a, a more larger period. Not happening daily, but maybe happening weekly. So it is totally misleading for anybody to say that the city is appreciating against the dollar. Let that communication go clearly to everyone. Mr. Is the rate, I disagree with you. Is the rate I disagree. of depreciation? I disagree. Mr. Dapamoko, yeah. just economically it's not right. two, three weeks ago, yes. we had the CD, um, even, <laughs> or let's say a month ago, we had the CD at 15.5, yes. 15 point something, yes. reduced to 14, Good. reduced to 13. Yes. And now we have it. Yesterday I called my guy. He says he is selling it at 12.5, yes. but you can get it at 12.6, 12.8. Yes. 12 you understand? So yes. that's what he told me, the ranges. So if I look at, if I plot that on a graph, yes. that's an uh, appreciation. It depends on how inversely I decide to do the interpretation. So I would say that um, in our market, mm -hmm. the dollar has depreciated against the city, but our city has appreciated against the dollar, has gained yes. against the dollar. So right. by inference, by interpretation in economic terms, there's been an appreciation. And I keep but, telling you. But, but if you're talking about in real terms, yes. on the market, so, so you're talking in real terms. In what terms should we so, speak? In what terms? If you want to talk about the nominal values speak? and the nominal terms. Of yeah, course, I'll speak to nominal values. Okay. Because that is what the everyday man looks at. Because the value of my cities to the dollar in January 2022. It's not the same value of my city to the dollar in December 2022. Mm. There's, there's a complete depreciation. Yeah. All right. If some spokesperson wants us to believe that there's an appreciation, I have, I have a struggle with that.